All right, good morning freelancer. Today is Friday and uh, man, I wish I can stream guys, but I can't. I wish I have a better mic, but I don't. So I just do with whatever I have. So anyway, while we are all waiting for a uh, live stream, uh, Anthem live stream next week, I just want to put up a video about my uh, storm loadout. So pretty much, uh, let's talk about my uh, weapon style first. So. Uh, my primary is always, you know, my damage dealer. I think I already mentioned this in uh, some of my video. And then my secondary slot is always assigned as a, you know, survivability. Shield max, armor max, all that good stuff. Maybe gear damage, maybe gear speed. And then, before I go to my components, uh, these three slots right here, Blast Seal, Focus Seal, and my weapons, uh, in my build, my favorite build, they're all making about the same damage. Let's say about maybe 60k. My blast seal is my binary binary star is making at least 60k damage with the damage over time, and then my stasis chain the initial uh, damage output is about 50k, and then with a jump it it gets like 20k per jump, and then of course my divine vengeance. That, that prop so anyway so the thing is depending on what kind of gears available in my inventory so at the moment we got binary star with uh about 300 gear damages and then my stasis chain also about 300 gear damages so when when this two slot has gear damages so when i build my components i lean towards gear speed so that in mind, I always take Gunslinger Mark, recharge rate 50%, and then decrease uh, damage by 20%. Do I care about the 20%? Not really, since most of my gear already has 300% damages. That 20% loss will not really matter. So talking of the pupil is the most important thing in this build, my binary star and my stasis chain, because what this do is it increase the number of combo chains by two. So it pretty much it makes my gear jump to two, two times more. So if my binary star is already attacking six different enemies, it will jump to two more. And since it has two flames, so instead of attacking just six six uh, enemies, it will attack about ten enemies, and it will deal damage over time. And then when this activated, because I use my binary star as my initial attack so when i activate this this will also add additional 60 percent for 10 seconds to my stasis chain so my stasis chain i use it as my as my follow-up uh, attack or my finishing blow and then when i activated my stasis chain the token of the master will activate so the second time i use my binary star the damage and the damage over time also increase about 60% and both of them already has 300% each on those gear so you're gonna add you know 60% of that and then right here uh, we're going to our uh, fourth slot so the gunslinger is always your basic you always want to have it because of the gear gear uh, recharge rate so the this one will pretty much benefit both my blast seal and my focus seal and then we're going up here my fourth slot is usually my uh, additional boost damage or if not uh, another defensive so usually i would say put a marco bruin here but since i don't have marco bruin since update 1.3 they screwed up my amulet winter and my marco bruin and when they should switch it back in 1.4 now i lost my marco win and gained two now i have two winter amulet so anyway uh i usually use it's either i put up this one to boost my gun damage or this one when i kill boost damage to my gear and if i have a i i preferably put a mark of brewing here to gain more i, I believe 50 percent if i apply status and since my binary is a primer if i activate it it will give me more of that 50 percent bonus but since i don't have a tomo precision i can you know that's it for me right here and then on my two slots since update 1.4.2 uh storm is weak now guys so now i'm equipping uh two defensive 
resistant components which is soften blow 75% and then right here also when it comes to um, damage boost you can you can replace it with either token of daring marco bruin and this one the good thing about the the token of daring is when your shield break is instantly recharges all gear so usually that's my right there and i take out the tome of precision and then the soft and blows the vanguard's token are my defensive resistant components and if you still you know keep dying in gm3 all that stuff make sure that you have this one as your uh, secondary weapon to have a shield armor max and the difference between the the consumable you know armor and shield consumable the consumable only give you 30 percent yes you are getting that uh shield delay refresh whatever but you can get those in your component also those uh, shield delay so this is what you want is the armor and shield in your gun inscription and then if you're still dying in this one so the four slot you can change it to mark of clarity because when you clear a status when you get attacked by enemies like fire all that stuff and once that's over with you can gain four percent so it's either you have like three offensive uh components and then three uh defensive components or you want to have four offensive components usually talking of daring right there so that's pretty much my setup for this build so if your blast line focus seal has gear damages you should set up everything else for a gear speed so let's change it a bit so let's say you have hunter infinity or something else like you're you're leaning towards combo build and then what you want to do is since you have charges you have gear speed on your uh, gear and then what you want to lean towards your components in your other slot are gear damages so here is your ponder infinity and chaotic ram do we need talking to pupil in this no we don't so we can change it to either marco bruin or marco brat you know to give you more damage so increase gear damage and it recharge rate 20 percent you really don't it really don't matter the recharge rate negative 20 percent because your ponder infinity my ponder infinity right here has 300 gear chargers or or this one right here has gear speed already so you can still use this all day all night if you you know so so that a negative 20 percent will not really affect your build so anyway that's my gen general idea about my build guys so people asking me i think did i mention that earlier already why i'm not uh using uh black eyes uh, with my with my binary star it's just because I don't want to cancel the uh, the uh, you know the damage over time when I activate it so anyway guys so again blast seal focus seal if you're leaning towards uh, gear speed then your components uh, do it for gear damages all this lap look for gear damages so if your focus seal in blast seal already has these 300 physical damage you know all the stuff and then your components support seal and weapons slot should have gear speed uh anyway guys that's pretty much it that's just the whole idea of storm it's you know just play around with your components and have a good day thank you and bye bye